it good? It's delicious. Every week. They can't mess this up. It's really hard to mess up an ice cap. Um, and in the summer, it's a, it's a good drink. It's a good, it's a good drink. Well, I'll tell you what. Tim Hortons did not mess this up. However, the Jets might be messing up a lot of things. They let you all have to go. What are they thinking? They just told him they're not going to trade him. Do you think that was... He wants to be traded, though. Now he does. Yeah. Well, that's. I think that's a product of contract extensions, right? Because right now he's he's entering the year four of his rookie deal, but he's like sixth overall pick. So he's got a fifth-year option that they've picked up. His fifth-year option is like $9.5 million next year. Which is weird because I don't know why teams more teams... And we can talk about this, too. Maybe make segue into another episode. Then. Why don't teams just pick up fifth-year options anyway? It doesn't. Yeah. You can drop them at any time. At any time. Well, I, there's times where I think it's appropriate, you know. Um, like, for example, if you have a player who is consistently injured, like the Bills declined Sammy Watkins option, oh, that was, and yeah. that made a lot of sense yeah. because he was hurt constantly. And, and you have to pay them in that fifth year if they get injured in year four. So, you know, if they yeah. have an injury that impacts them at the start of the following season, their entire contract gets guaranteed. I could, I could see that. And th- those are the only two cases where I could see is if, A, they're Sammy Watkins and they're always hurt, right. or, B, they're Shaq Lawson and it wasn't from this regime. Right. So those are the two cases I can definitely see where you wouldn't pick up a fifth-year option, but it's always benefits you to do it because you can drop it at any time. Right, exactly. And the player doesn't have to sign it. You just pick up the option, and that's it, right? There's no the player doesn't. You're not waiting for the player on anything. There's no contract negotiation. That dollar is written in stone. Yeah. So you're not doing anything there, um, and you can decline it whenever you want. If you pick it up, you can just say right before the start of the season, "Yeah, we thought about it." Now, here's the greatest part about this because I know Ryan over that at Jets Talk 24/7. Now, if you guys, you guys are Bills fans, we know that. But uh, we've collabed with Ryan a bunch of times. Oh, yeah. Great dude. He has great Jets content. If you want to get a you know a sneak peek at the enemy behind enemy lines, Ryan's a great uh, YouTuber out there as well. We're going to talk about this, I think, twofold. Here's what I think um, as far as Adams goes. One, the possibility of him coming to Buffalo, which yeah. I know is very slim, but let's talk about yeah. it. The other thing is this. Could this be a manifestation of Minka Fitzpatrick? Because the Jets are requ- in the division, they're yeah. requesting similar things that Fitzpatrick did. We saw his transition to another team be very successful. Yeah. So then a- Adams is cut from the same cloth. They both went to Bama, didn't they? Uh, no, no, no. Well, uh, Adams, Adams was LSU. LSU. Yeah. Um, Come on, aren't you proud of me? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It's after a draft class, I just don't have room in my brain to store where these guys went to college. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember watching him. Couldn't tell you the logo on the helmet. Couldn't tell you the color <laughs> of the field. No idea. Right? But I remember, I, I'll tell you everything about the tape that I watched. But the ancillary information is gone. That's not true. Where did Brandon Oliver go? Well, University of Buffalo, <laughs> but that's an easy one. Khalil Mack? <laughs> All right. But, yeah, that's where it stops. Though, doesn't it? True. Very true. Other than that. Now, which one did you want to start with first? I think the the easy one to talk to is the possibility of coming to the Bills because we had we had talked about this. Uh, like, I'm going to say briefly. Now, briefly, I want to say like 35 briefly. seconds. Yeah, talk very about briefly. It. Um, Could the Bills get him? Let's just let's start there. So I, I, that question is kind of multifaceted for me. Is one, do they need him? And two, yeah. can they afford him? Right? Because... Think about it this way, right? Don't we say that every time his dad's when we go out shopping? Yeah, that's true. Do you need this? Okay, okay, I'm for it. Yeah, (laughs) it is the same. So, with because he's on he's on a rookie deal, but his his contract's a little weird. So his roster bonus doesn't pay. Like just as an example, Jordan Poyer's contract that he just signed. Yes, he got a signing bonus. He then got another roster bonus, which was like $4 million, on the fifth day of the league year. Yeah. Right? And that's normal. Third, fifth, no, third, fourth, yes, fifth day of the league does. year is pretty common for roster bonuses. Not Jamal Adams. His doesn't pay till the first day of training camp. Wow. 
Is that Isn't normal? that interesting? Is that normal? I I guess I've For never rookies? thought about it for rookies. Wow, that's weird. I know. I didn't know. I does I, it give them I more time that, to negotiate because of the draft and everything? I mean, else, so. Maybe. I mean, I, oh, I look at it oh, this way. Oh. I I guess I don't. I guess I've never thought about that. Hmm. But that's interesting. It's not till training camp, which means that the Jets can trade him, and they're avoiding that roster bonus because yeah. his salary is less than a million dollars. But his roster bonus is like three-ish. Well, right? they're not really strapped, I don't think. Oh, no. Jets got tons of space, yeah, and so do the Bills, mm-hmm. right? So can the Bills afford him? You can this year. Next year, he's 9 mil, but he's still got to show up for that. He wants a contract extension. Yes. So, you know, that's where things get a little dicey for me is, yeah, he wants to get traded. And he put out a list of seven teams, one of which I don't understand, the Cowboys. Like, Cowboys don't have a quarterback right now. They're paying everybody. Where are you getting, where are you getting money from? They want to win games 10-3. <laughs> we can win with Elliott. We'll kick it back to the 90s. <clears throat> so, I guess, I guess, like, I'm really on the, if you can get Jamal Adams train, go get him. Right? He's just too good an athlete. But there's a, there's a pretty there's a pretty steep cost. To Absolutely. Um, so, what, I mean, from a... What does Adams do for this team? <laughs> I guess I guess that's where we should really start, right? Because the money, we know the money works, right? You can make the money work. The money could work, and you're going to have guys come off the books next year as well. Sure. So right. a lot of those one- or two-year deals that you're talking about are going to be coming off the books. Um, so what does def- Adams it do definitely, for It definitely puts a different paint job on, on Trent Murphy, does it now? <laughs> we kinda, we kinda, he kind of got lost for a while, whatever sure he was did. talking about. Um, what does he do on the field besides everything? This guy plays safety. This guy plays in the box. This guy plays on the line. He gets sacks. He gets pass deflections. He gets everything. This guy can add an element to your defense that it probably can take an elite defense and make it. Let me just, I'm just put it this one. You put Adams on the field with this team. Currently it's on there in a nickel package. Who's going anywhere against the Bills? You have Edmonds, Milano, and Adams lurking wherever he wants, playing like a rover. You got Poyer and um, Poyer and Hyde in the back end. You got White and Norman, and then you have that front four, whatever kind of combination you want to put in there. What are you doing against this defense? You want to talk about the Buffalo nickel? And you look Good at that Lord. linebacker group. Fast, fast, fast. It, it would be Adams ridiculous. is not a bird. Like that's not. Adams is not a corner. No, no, he's right? not a corner. He's, he's not a, a burner. He's he's fast. He's a tweener. Which, yeah, he's a which tweener. makes him which makes him dangerous. Which is the greatest part about it because he's he's like Tyron Matthew, who also went to LSU on steroids. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he's not. I mean, if he is, he stays with the Jets. I that's right. Yeah, that's right. But the point is, he offers you now. <clears throat> if you have to give up significant currency for him. He is your insurance policy for so many things that go on on that, on that defense. Very much agree. Milano goes down, you got Adams. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Edmonds goes down, you shift Milano in, you got Adams. Mm-hmm. You got AJ Klein still in the wings. If you sign him to a long term deal and you can't sign Milano, you got Adams. Mm-hmm. So you're making a decision here with Adams. If you try to go after Adams, Milano may not be here. I think that's a given. Right, because I, you're give, you're gonna give Adams Milano's money. In the brief discussion that we did have in that thirty seconds, mm-hmm. and I want you to bestow this upon the nation. You th- you look at Adams more of a, as a linebacker, hybrid linebacker yeah. than a yeah. safety. I do, point. yeah, because here's the deal, right? It, it, essentially, what you're gonna do is if you acquire Adams, you're replacing Lorenzo and Alexander. Just not in as many the pressure end, situations, those. right? Because okay. Zoe was out there a lot in pressure situations. They ran a, a quote unquote nickel. I guess, I mean, here's the deal, right? They ran two linebackers most of the last season. Yes. Just Zoe was out there purely for pressure, yes. right? So he's a fifth rusher at a lot of, at a lot of times. But I'll, at times he dropped back into coverage too. But if you get Adams, you're now running a three backer set, right? Because Adams is a linebacker. You can mm-hmm. say what you want about him. He's safety, but he's all he's he's played down long enough to be, he's, he's a linebacker. Who would you compare him to? Who did I compare? Do you remember who you compared him to? Uh, well, there's two guys. Talvin Smith is one, right? Yes. Um, he's a, he's not as big as Talvin Smith. No. Right? No. Um, but Talvin Smith was another tweener. He's mm-hmm. a guy that played linebacker, played safety, and they said, well, don't know what to do with him. And he was an animal for Jackson. He went everywhere. Yep. He was an animal. 
Uh, Deion Buchanan's another one. Yes. Where he was safety. He got dropped down. Jabril. Jabril Peppers. Um, yeah. Who's the other guy? Lace loved him. Mac. Mm-hmm. Miles Jack. Miles Jack. Jack. Miles Jack. Jack. So there's these guys that come out of college that are technically safeties. But now here's the other question I have. And I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry. Is he is Adams what he is because of Williams? No. No. He I was that before I don't think that matters at all. Okay. You talk about like levels of athlete and Adams is on a different level than a lot of other safeties in the league. Yes. So maybe any and I, I will say this, and, and I don't want people to, to think that I'm crazy, or to, you can think differently if you want, but if you go out and add Adams this season, it is a right now a short-term investment that could cost you some very good assets that you might want to resign, right? You do that, but Adams gives you the ability to not rely on A.J. Klein. A.J. Klein can then back up Matt Milano, okay. right? Edmonds is Edmonds. Right. Yeah. So your linebacker group is now not at a severe lack of depth like it is right now. Like right now, if Milano goes down, we're in trouble. Edmonds goes down. You're, there's not a lot of depth in that position. No. Adam solves that problem. Okay. If, if you go and get Adam to a trophy hunting this season right now, trophy. I love I, that. That's what you're doing. Though, yeah. You're trophy hunting. Yeah, and, but you don't want to put yourself in a. L.A. Rams style of trophy or anywhere. Seattle Seahawks, right? Yeah, the one same year thing. wonder. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, <clears throat> it, it is It is definitely intriguing because I hate taking guys out of the division from other teams, yeah. especially guys that Belichick let go, willingly right. let go, because right. he's like, you know what? You're, you're no use to me. I already have the book on you. I know how to beat you. Go ahead. And go in the division. Let's dance. You know what I mean? But Adams is a different kind of animal. It's just the compensation that you would have to give up for him. That's that's where I get. Do the Bills feel comfortable giving up a first round pick in consecutive years if it came to them? No, I don't think. Okay, that. that's one. What? Think not to a division. What, yeah, that's true. What are you giving up for? Okay. Well, but just remember this too: yeah. the price is higher if it's within a division. Sure, it is. Because the compensation for Absolutely. the Jets wouldn't just be one first round pick; it'd be a first and a second and a third. Right. Or something. So Pat McAfee said something I thought was really great. He <laughs> said, "You can lose with Jamal Adams. You can lose without Jamal Adams." And I thought that was very poignant. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, inside the, I don't think they're going to get two first round picks for Adams. No. Uh, he need, he wants a contract extension. So even if you trade for him, you don't know if you're going to give. You know, you don't know if he's honestly going to show up. Yeah. Uh, not only that, but he only listed a few teams. I think it was seven teams. Um, it was, uh, I, I'm going to miss a few, but it was um, Seattle, um, the Cowboys, the Texans. Oh, what he's thinking. The Eagles. Actually, it's not bad for the Eagles. Oh, <laughs> um, and then there was, uh, there was two or three other teams. I see him fit everywhere. Because like, that, that's know, the type exactly, of athlete he is. Exactly. So if I'm trading for Adams, I have to give up a player because the Jets are going to need a player. This is after the draft, right? Yes. The Jets are going to need a player. They are trying to build a winning football team. They're not trying to lose. They need something back. So the player that I'm giving up is I'm giving up a player. Yeah. But that's the co- That's the price of it. Oh! <laughs> Listen, you want to ride the Jamal Adams Ferris wheel, that's the price of admission. That's it. Like, you got to give a player back. But you just said he wasn't the safety. You're right. That you think of. But, yeah, but the Bills have drafted. Warriors a bang. Bills have drafted several safeties the last few seasons. And, yeah, and, and Poyer's style of play is He's, not. Is replaceable by Adams. It mimics. I want right. to say it mimics. It's not the same, but it mimics. Right. I guess mimicking is the same. So but. you're taking a 29 year Poyer and exchange it for a what? 25 year old Jamal Adams? I'll take that all day long. Ooh. I'll take that all day. Now, even though Poyer just signed an extension, it's going to cost the Bills an extra four and change just to this trade year. to trade Adams and bring on or to trade Poyer and bring on Adams. It's going to cost them. Four. Oh, God, just the thought of that, though. But, Is it worth it? It's money already spent, in my opinion, right? Yes, but and the Jets get a contract that's very controllable, right? Is good deal for them. He's going to be a little older, but it's not an expensive deal by all, by all, you know, by, stre- by all stretches of the imagination. When we talk about that, you said Poyer, a second and a third. The, the, the caveat in there is when you said 
the third the following year, Adams may not be on the team. Right. So would you put a clause in there that said that third would go to a second if Adams ends up signing and signing? If I resign Adams? Yeah. yeah. So right. march it up. Poyer That's in why. two seconds. Poyer in two seconds. I'd give up for Adams, uh, who has made two Pro Bowls in three seasons. No. And, and he's 25. No, I think 24, 25. Now here's, yeah. what I, here's just the only thing I want to say. The only thing I want to say. Because we're guilty of it. Yeah. We get attached to players. Yep, sure do. Poyer is that type of player that you get attached to yep. in Buffalo. I understand that. This We're talking strictly from a business sense. Right. Would you make this deal? I because think, Poyer is, is vital to this squad. Sure, and absolutely. It's going to be a huge culture shock yes. to take Poyer out of the locker room. Yes. But at the same token... It's not like you're downgrading the position. No, you're not. And they're right. always looking to upgrade the position. Right. You're bringing in... <laughs> Zach Moss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to bring in Adams with Trey. They played at LSU together. Yes, they did. Right? Like, yep. you're doing that. And you're not know. getting rid of a... Uh, it's not like you're trading Hyde, who's the center fielder back there. Right. So Hyde's still directing traffic back there. Yeah. But, man, if they could... And, and again, it could it's, be somebody other than Poyer. I'm just saying that like I, catch for, for the Jets, <laughs> yeah. that is the best fit for Buffalo is Poyer. Now, the question becomes, right, what if it's just for one year? I think you get into what we talked about during the offseason because I think Hashtag Nation brought it up quite a bit. Trading for Before they drafted Moss, people were talking about trading for Alvin Kamara. Mm-hmm. He's in a contract here. You don't know if you have him the next few years. That's why the Stephon Diggs trade was brilliant because right. he's under contract Great for four point. years. Great point. Um, I don't know. It, that's the X factor. You have to say, listen, we're going to trade. They have to try to negotiate an extension prior to the trade. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. And with it being a division rival, I don't think the Jets want to see. I don't think Darnold wants to see Adams on the other side for the next five years. I don't think that. Yeah, no. So that's, a, that's true. The price will be steeper for Buffalo than anybody else. Now, do you, now, why don't you think Buffalo was on Adams' list? Because of the infrastructure that's already there. So you think it was, he looked at those other teams and said, I'm instantly the best player on this defense. Yeah, he is. And he'll get, he'll get money of the best player on the defense. If you look yeah. at the Buffalo Bills, who do you got on the horizon? You got White? You got you got White, you got Edmonds, um, you got Oliver. White was in the same draft class, so therefore he's going to garner almost twenty million a year. What do you think Adams is going to want? Right. They they right. can't afford both of them. Right. No, they can't. Um, so maybe we should have started with that. 